So we're opening up the Enter Data module within EpiInfo on the PC. And we're going to open um, the most recent form I looked at, which is the Absensi form. And here is an example of some dummy data I collected earlier, just uh, so that we can look at some data for this video. Um, but I'm assuming that you will have already entered Absensi data for all of the T1s, and it will be waiting now for analysis. So you're going to move now from the data entry module into the visual dashboard and you can do that by clicking this dashboard icon up here or going back to the main epi info menu and clicking visual dashboard there let's do it this shortcut way from the data entry module and here that opens up the visual dashboard and our data is already in there so the, the way we can see our data is we go up here and click the down arrow and uh, choose the option data and now we can see the data that exists in this absentee form you can see i've put in data uh, dummy data for uh, several t1s um, with the the date their start time their end time the uh, lat long at the time of entering those records and then any comments that they've made OK, so what I will do in future is design you um, an analysis package. Um, but in the meantime, in order to access this data in a format that you're more used to using, let's um, export this to Excel. So we go up here to Options and we choose to Export Data. For Output Format, choose uh, this version of Excel, the .xls rather than xlsx. Um, this is a slightly more reliable export to the um, XLS. Uh, connection information just means where on your computer you want this to be saved. Um, I'm going to choose my barley folder. And we also need to choose uh, for ourselves a file name. So I'm going to put dummy. you want to keep this this row tick the first row will contain header information click OK and the destination table is just the uh, name of the worksheet that will the Excel will give so we can uh, and if you just leave all of these fields as is it will basically export all of this information so we're going to click export now and that export has been successfully completed. So we can click close. And let's have a look now at that data. So we can open up. Um, let's go via here. Go to the place that I saved that data. Here's the dummy data absentee form. Double click that. Give my poor old laptop some time to work. And now we can see this um, Excel form has opened on my computer. We just need to um, increase the width of these columns so you can see everything clearly. So you can see the, uh, the name of the, the T1, the date they're in the field, their um, start time actually comes up Oh, let's change this. It's showing only the start time, uh, start date. We can change that to time by going into format cells, click time. We can choose 24 hour clock. Click OK. Now we can see the times, and let's do the same here for the end time. So again, format cells, and we're changing the format for time. And click OK. There we go. So now we have the start times and end times. And we can use a really quite simple formula to work out the difference between the end time and the start time. So over here, we can just put hours in the field equals end time minus start time. Press enter. Exactly eight hours in the field. And you can just drag that formula down to complete for all those rows. And now we can see the total 
hours and minutes spent in the field for each of these people on each of those days. OK, so that completes just a, a temporary way of analysing the data from the absentee form. I'll send you something a little bit more detailed to do within EpiInfo itself in the next few days.